Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here with HG Alex Films, and today I'm going to show you guys how to compress your fast video file sizes that are massively huge. So in this example, I'm just going to show you, I have a 13 second video, and it is 324 megs big. That is absolutely outrageous, but you can't understand that because it does record in uh, .avi, which uh, .avi is uncompressed frames. So, why don't we go ahead and get started. So the first step you're going to need to do is, of course, uh, open up your internet, or Google Chrome, and go to virtual.org. Alright, click on the download section and then go to virtual.sourceforge.com. Click on that and then it should download it within three seconds. Go to next step is you go to xvid.org. Uh, this is a little tricky, it took me a while to find, but you gotta go to xvid codec and go to downloads because you're gonna download the xvid MPEG4 codec. Alright, uh, you need to scroll down a little and download the last one xvid core dot. Uh, 1.3.2 zip. These are only for Macs and these are for Windows. All right. What we're going to need to do now is you're going to need to uh, open up Virtual Dub. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on Virtual Dub. All right. Go to File, Open Video File, and then uh, wait for this to pop up. Click our uh, select a file. Okay. This is our video. This is from a while back on my other username. That's why it looks different. Uh, so you're going to go to Video, go to Compression. And uh, we're going to scroll down to find our MPEG4 codec that we downloaded. Go to configure and make sure you have selected the um, XVID HD720 and go to maximum quality. Or you can just leave it at where it was. I'm just going to select that. Click on OK. And then click on OK here. Next, you're going to go to file and you're going to go save as AVI. And what we're going to do is a little window is going to pop up here. It's telling us to fill out information about where we want to save it, our directory. All right, so I'm just going to save this at the end. Um, compressed. Click on save, and then this uh, should take a while depending on your um, video. In this case, mine's fast, so I'm just going to leave it to finish compressing. As you see, my current video frame is uh, 7081 out of 415, so it's, you know, it is going pretty fast, and it's going to tell you about how big your file size is. So in this case, about four four megabytes right now, and then it's going through all the videos of what I selected and all the frames. So it's basically showing me frame by frame. So I'm about halfway there, and we're almost done. Sorry about that, guys. I just yawned. All right. Okay, we're done. Uh, basically, just finishing up right here our video, and it says dub in progress. So that's the way you know that it is, of course, uh, rendering. All right. So once this is done, we can just close virtual dub, open up our directory, and as you see here's a compressed AVI. So compare 324 megabytes to 3.51 megabytes. Same video length, same quality. I'm just going to show you guys if we open this up. All right, it's in great quality, no lag, all that stuff. I love it. Works great. Uh, and you can't change the quality. I should have done it. I should have changed it to one. Uh, it does look a little bit, you know, blurry. But anyways, the original was just as well, except 324 megabytes. That's okay for fast users, but there's 13 seconds just for a 324 megabyte video. That's outrageous. All right, guys, thanks for watching this. Uh, bye, guys. Talk to you later and uh, soon. Hope. Just you know, I haven't been making a videos in a while. I'm busy with school and summer, you know, um, busy vacations and all that stuff. Um, anyways, guys, see you later. Uh, talk to you soon, guys.